Hello, you are watching AF 24 7 and uh, as I mentioned it before that uh, 10th Global Literary Festival is what we are celebrating and uh, uh, it's, it's been a pleasure, you know, uh, being part of this fest as uh, we are meeting a lot of guests uh, from all over the world and uh, right now we have uh, Sunita Call, ma'am. So ma'am, firstly, welcome to AF 24 7. Thanks. Uh, so ma'am is a filmmaker, she's a journalist and a writer as well. So I guess in in all these profiles, all three profiles, I guess literature plays a very immense role in it. So what's your take on that? Oh my God, I was brought up on literature. Um, when I was, uh, I think I started writing at the age of seven, eight perhaps. And I was brought up uh, on books because my father was a journalist as well. And uh, I read writers like Dostoevsky at the age of, uh, he presented me a book when I was, I think, 11, 12, and he told me, you'll never understand this book at this age. Go through oh. it, but when you grow up, go through it again. Yeah. It's one of those books that has influenced me the maximum, Crime and Punishment by Dostoevsky. Till date, I carry it with me. Of course, there have been a lot of other writers too, but yeah. literally, I used to, I used to live off books. <laughs> um, literature has influenced influenced my life. Poetry has influenced my life tremendously. Uh, that's that's really amazing. So, ma'am, uh, you are, as I said it, you are a filmmaker, you're a journalist, and a writer. I really want to know the story. I really want to know the journey of yours because it seems very interesting. The journey from how it all started. It all started when I was very young, very, I don't know when it started, Pro mm -hmm. probably I was, I was very young, seven, <laughs> eight, when I started writing. Okay. I found this melancholic streak within me, which my teachers pointed out to me, and I was nicknamed Keats at school. Not that I was a great writer, <laughs> but I guess they caught me in a corner just writing oh. away while I was in class. Mm. And since that day to now, my teachers called me Keats. Of course, there's no comparison. Yeah. He's one of the greatest poets that English or British literature mm -hmm. has ever produced. Um, I am a very humble person. I would not even, but that's, that's how the journey started. Uh, I guess I was brought up in, an, in a very academic environment. It was extremely academic, mm -hmm. where uh, if, you, if you failed a certain mark of understanding, comprehension, or uh, hard work, you were penalized, especially by my father. I owe all my writing to my father, who was a brilliant writer mm. himself. He's booked, um, booked. I mean, he's written or authored books on Kashmir, mm -hmm. where I belong, which is my roots. Mm. And... Um, uh, that's where the journey started. It was my background. It was uh, the schools that I went to, mm. all um, uh, convent schools where there were, uh, you know, nuns, and so the so the background was literature yeah. always. It's been a painful journey because for a writer, you have to mm. be an extremely sensitive mm. person. Um, perhaps. Perhaps that's what made me a writer, that I was an extremely sensitive person. Mm -hmm. I was cognizant of the fact that I was different and uh, it was painful to grow up. Uh, so, and that's where I, uh, all my angst would come out in the form of uh, pieces of poetry, which I sometimes threw away. And I think I've lost a lot of my work. Mm -hmm. And I became aware <laughs> of, the, of the value of however, however ordinary your writing yeah. is, I became aware of it. Um, much later and I started preserving mm. my writing. So it, what else would you like to know? Uh -huh. In a uh, nutshell, okay. that's so I, I like uh, I read about you and you have worked in different parts of the world. That's right. Uh, so like about that, about that experience of yours, if you would like to share and also with that, uh, I mean, if we talk about the world, in, in, in fact, in India, we have different culture. Right. Uh, we have huge diverse, India is a huge diverse country. So, in fact, you have worked in different parts of the world. So, uh, do you believe that uh, what connection does literature have with culture? I guess both goes hand in hand. So, how important literature, uh, how importance uh, literature plays when you are in different parts of um, the country or the world or I would say the different cultures? So here I'd like to say that, um, you know, I've been, a born, I, I was brought up a lot on uh, Greek literature, which is one of the, I hmm. mean, uh, it, it's really ancient. I would say that some of the German philosophers or even Greek uh, writers have been influenced tremendously by Upanishads. Hmm. I believe, I believe a lot in the Upanishads. Uh, 
and they have the philosophy has mm. traveled, not remained within. So I wouldn't say that literature is um, is an inherent product mm. of just cultural limitations. True. Uh, we do have cross influences. Absolutely. For, for, as I said, mm -hmm. and Nietzsche, who's another favorite of mine, was also Schopenhauer. These are all people who were actually in, who were actually tremendously influenced mm. by our, which is Indian mm -hmm. philosophy. And uh, and it has to be vice versa as well. Yeah. So, but having said that, your point is very correct. Mm. Uh, we are all products of a certain culture, of a generation, not, I wouldn't say generation, <laughs> because we are growing all Grow, the time. Yeah. I'm learning from you, mm. and I hope you're learning something Absolutely, from me. Absolutely, why not? So, I mean, right now, your entire life experience, I am getting the exposure of that, so definitely it's gonna help me in my life. <laughs> thank you. So, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's, uh, it is something to do with the background, with the culture, mm. with the geographic for instance, I'm influenced a lot by mm. in my thinking about the the people of Kashmir, how mm. how they have struggled. That's in the back of my mind because uh, we've had a journey of our own for generations. So uh, it may not influence my writing, but it, it is there somewhere in the. And mm. as far as yes, but I've been tremendously influenced by what I saw in my travels across the across the globe. And I would say that Canada, uh, where I live now, hmm. um, I'm a citizen of that country. I would say that um, it's, I've learned a hell of a lot there about Western civilization. Hmm. Um, I've learned a lot. So it has influenced me in my perspective of the world. And I think yeah. the perspective of the world is what comes out in your writing. Hmm. So yes, there True. is a cross-cultural learning out there. And yeah. whether you are a critique of that or not, it comes out in your writing. True, ma'am. Absolutely right. Uh, so, any lastly, any advice that you would like to give to all the budding writers or maybe journalists or the filmmakers? It's a tough journey. It's a really tough journey. I feel that media has uh, is not as strong as it was, yeah. uh, let's say, even a decade back, mm. because we have the influence of social media, where you true. have subjectivity governing mm. you. But if you're a true journalist, you don't let your subjective or ideological opinions influence the sub the completely objective truth, mm. because truth has many sides to it. So I would say that take everything with a pinch of salt. Writers, you have a tough journey ahead because publishing is one one of the most um, difficult things. I mean, you have to have money even to yeah. publish your, 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 so I won't, be, and that's been something that many, many writers have faced. Hmm. Uh, many great writers have faced poverty, um, but hopefully somebody out there is listening <laughs> and will take publishing of uh, new authors seriously. Of course, there are lots of outlets now, so. Definitely, ma'am, definitely. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, it was really amazing interacting with you. And um, honestly, I have learned, not only me, uh, the audience out there, we have learned a lot. So thank you very much for joining us. It You're was watching. my pleasure, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. You're watching Half 24-7 Noida.